Shifting gears to our vaccination campaign overall, since making the transition to a primarily age-based vaccination approach last week, as the Lieutenant Governor has mentioned, we have made some great progress. Similar to what I outlined last Thursday, we started this campaign by taking a very deliberate targeted approach to vaccinating. And as I outlined last Thursday, we have plans to get faster and simpler. And that's exactly what we are doing. Last Thursday, people who are 75 and older started getting vaccinated at our two state-run vaccination sites at the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence and Sakonasset Cross Road in Cranston. And on Monday of this week, we opened scheduling to people 65 years of age and older. Since then, we have made more than 40,000 appointments for those two sites through March 10th. And we have administered more than 20,000 shots there in the last week. When you look at the last seven days, our vaccine administration rate has increased by 130% compared to what we were doing in January over a seven day average. We're now administering more than 6,600 doses a day throughout the state which is a great pace and what we're looking to increase even further. All told, we've administered more than 225,000 doses of vaccine since the start of the vaccination campaign. Our work isn't done. We have hundreds of thousands more doses to administer, and we are going to do it quickly. We've come a long way in a short time, and it's important to acknowledge what our team has accomplished with the energy to keep going forward. To our older adults who are hearing about these two mass vaccination sites but have not been vaccinated yet, I want to assure you that you, we are very well organized in these locations and it is very accessible for you as well to get vaccinated there. At the Dunkin' Donuts Center, there are ambassadors meeting older adults in the parking garage and using golf courts, golf carts to bring people with mobility issues to the vaccination area. At Sakonasset, there are ramps at the entrances and exits, and both locations have extra wheelchairs and staff to help people move through the sites if help is needed. One other note I want to make for everyone getting vaccinated at the dunk or Sakonasset, please do not stay in the parking area or arrive in the parking area any earlier than 15 minutes before the time of your appointment. General Callahan was updating our leadership team this morning and he said that our throughput at the two sites is roughly 300 people getting vaccinated per hour. We have a very carefully planned operation in place to get people moving through the system safely and efficiently. But that operation gets complicated when we have lines of people who are on site before they are supposed to be. So again, please do not arrive in the parking area any earlier than 15 minutes before your appointment time. We will be ready for you at the time when your appointment is scheduled, and you can be confident in that. We're going to be replicating the model that we have at these two sites at other places in Rhode Island. In the coming weeks, we are planning to open two new state-run vaccination sites, one in Middletown and one in Woonsocket. The Middletown site will be located where the Bennies used to be, and the Woonsocket site will be located at the corner of Menden Road and Diamond Hill Road, where the Sears department store was previously. True Rhode Island style of location. People will be able to register for appointments at these sites the way they can currently register for the Dunk and Sakonasset. It's either by going to www.vaccinateri.org or by calling 
1779. We're also taking steps to ensure that we are getting vaccine to Rhode Islanders who cannot leave their homes. To do that, we've created a form that people can fill out if they are homebound. To be clear, this is not a vaccination registration form, but this is a form to collect information for our planning and implementation. There is a link to the form at covid.ri.gov slash vaccination. It can also be filled out by a healthcare bot provider or a family caregiver of someone who is homebound. As we collect that information, and as soon as we're ready, we'll be able to engage and make sure that important community is vaccinated. Before passing things to Director Coit, I would be remiss if I didn't remark on the fact that we are coming up on the one year anniversary of our first case in Rhode Island. One year ago Monday, on March 1st, 2020, we announced that Dr. Eva King and her team at our Rido State Health Laboratories had identified Rhode Island's first presumptive positive case of COVID-19. Between then and now, we have had quite the journey. We have lost more than 2,400 cherished Rhode Islanders. Almost 9,000 Rhode Islanders have been admitted to the hospital because of COVID-19. And every single person in our state has been affected by this pandemic. I want to personally thank all the healthcare workers and members of our COVID-19 response team for their tremendous sacrifices, commitment, and relentless work over the last 12 months. So many of you have worked around the clock for months on end. Many may be exhausted, but are still doing it, still coming into work, still serving Rhode Islanders day after day. We are so appreciative for all that you have given over the last year. I also want to thank everyone throughout Rhode Island. We have asked you time and time again to make sacrifices that we never envisioned asking people to make. This has been a year of loss and a year of testing our strength for us all. We've lost loved ones, we've lost time with family and friends. This year has caused economic hardships and emotional hardships and so many challenges. This was the most difficult year for many of us. But we have also a lot to be proud of as a state when we look back at the last 12 months. The definition of resilience, the partnership and cooperation that so many of you have responded with over the past year has truly prevented many additional cases and prevented so much more of the loss that could have happened. Let's make sure that we don't forget that and that we're able to use that to energize us to get through the remainder of this fight together.